Hey guys, this is Al for George Shark. Today we're going to be taking a look at a free application in the Google Play Store, which is accompanied by the Pro version that we're going to be reviewing in this video called Task List Pro. It's a dollar fifty, and basically it does exactly what you think it can do: make some task lists. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So here we have the icon for the application itself. We'll go ahead and tap on it to jump us right into it. You can see we have two main tabs separated into business and private right here you see on a business we have some little um, just extra demo tasks we'll go ahead and look at those in a second we'll tap on menu now to take a look at the main menu we have the add a task button add new list button um, so that's for adding we can look at our task overview right here as you can see those are the tasks that are due today pretty cool little animations up there if you've caught those there's the expand all which is to expand every single task you have there nice little feature actually there's some more in here which is where you can take a look at help searching your tasks and exporting and importing another nice feature and then we can dive into the settings the settings include the list appearance where we can change the theme list tab size we can also check and uncheck things like the show task icon show notification icon show priority icon show repeat time slash icon show created time show date time uh, which is the due date and time due before description um, we can overdo red yellow gray we can show the expand all links in description and large fonts so lots of different um, settings there for the list appearance we also have sort order as you can see right there as well as task without due time we have date and time format which you can change date and time right there we have edit task options which include checking and unchecking speech buttons opening the keyboard auto suggestions due date today default reminder and auto saving Coming back, we also have navigation settings, which includes your touch actions, what happens when you swipe right or swipe left, when you use a D-pad or a trackpad, um, and you click, uh, what you want the search button to do, and what you want the volume keys to do. Pretty cool. There's also widget settings, which is just changing the theme, and then reminder settings, which include notification settings like the noises and the LEDs. So, nice extensive set of settings here for the application. Go ahead and jump in and take a look at what the tasks look like. You can tap on one to expand them. You can see what the task says. Um, you have an order here. Uh, green, of course, shows that it's a task you have to do. Tap private. Hit add task. This is the menu you get. You can name the task, say what the task is, instead of due time or reminder. Select icon priority, so green is indeed um, highest priority. This button right here is your icon, as you can see. And then you can save the task or cancel. So if I task name, I'll do videos. Uh, description, I'll do tasks. I'll set that to a low priority since I am doing it right now. Um, and we'll just hit save and you can see very easily it comes right up, hitting it expands it very 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 basic experience for the tasks actually there's it's not really much going on on the actual experience but since there are so many settings it definitely makes up for it um, the point of this application is to keep all your tasks in order I really like that you can you know label things by priority with certain colors green being um, important priority red being least important uh, it'll help you keep everything in order at least if you're actually willing to use this application now you can see if we jump into widgets and jump over here all the way back you see we have task with widgets it does indeed come in three different sizes we'll go ahead and grab one place it right there and you can see there it is it'll show you all your tasks so again if you're somebody who really will use your phone to accomplish tasks this definitely seems to be one of the applications for you and that's task list pro Alright guys, now LOR Soft did a pretty good job making this application. It's relatively popular and it gets pretty good ratings in the Google Play Store. But in my opinion, what really matters with an application like this is how well it actually integrates into your life and what kind of rating you would give it. Now I can see some people who are actually going to like this application because of its simplicity. A task list in real life is just a piece of paper with some notes written on it. Um, and this is kind of what this application resembles. So in that front, I think it's really good. On another front, technology is really advanced and you should be able to do a lot with the applications out there these days that can do almost everything regarding anything. And this application doesn't offer that. So you can see the contrast and the spectrums there. But either way, it really matters about you. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.